Prinseri, 37, was speaking in his role as Chief Impact Officer for U.S. professional coaching and mental health firm BetterUp. In a question and answer session with business magazine Fast Company, the Prince, who stepped down from being a senior working royal last year, said, I've actually discovered recently, courtesy of a chat with Better Up Science board member, Adam Grant, that a lot of the job resignations you mention aren't all bad. In fact, it is a sign that with self-awareness comes the need for change. Many people around the world have been stuck in jobs that didn't bring them joy, and now they're putting their mental health and happiness first. This is something to be celebrated. He added, while on the surface it looks like these last couple of years brought all these issues to the foreground, the reality is these struggles and issues have been brewing for quite some time. We're just at the beginning of the mental health awakening. But Rob Peters, of Simple Fast Mortgage in Altrincham, Greater Manchester, said, If you quit your job without the means to support yourself, I am pretty sure that the stress of where the next meal will come from, might be equally bad for your mental health. And royal biographer What is Happening Where You Live? Find out by adding your postcode or visit in your area Angela Levin, author of 2018 book Harry, Conversations with the Prince, added, Harry is utterly out of touch with people telling them to quit their jobs if they have mental health issues. Not everyone has 30 million pounds tucked away in the bank. I wonder if he'd give the same advice to people whose mental health is made worse by their marriage. Be quiet H, please. Prince Harry joined Better Up in March. The startup focuses on coaching people on their mental health to help their performance. It offers custom support and services that strengthen mental fitness, with the aim of allowing clients to unleash personal and professional performance. The Prince had indicated he wished to join Better Up to make a difference. In an interview, he said, I intend to help create impact in people's lives. Proactive coaching provides endless possibilities for personal development, increased awareness and an all-round better life. The firm has refused to reveal how much Prince Harry is being paid. But US-based apps investor Colin Plamondon said he could be receiving compensation of £500,000 to £2 million a year at a minimum including salary and equity. Harry and wife Meghan, 40, have also signed multi-million dollar contracts with streamers Netflix and Spotify and become investors in an ethical investment firm.